Well, hello, Crime Stoppers. I'm going to try and do a short version because I tend to go on for way too long. This is too simple and too easy. Uh, we've got a few uh, things uh, in confluence here. But uh, really, four sheriff's deputies with armed, I mean, armed sheriff's deputies. They got weapons. They at least got sidearms, at the very least. Uh, and they all, standard issue, um, bulletproof vest. Meantime, guys that didn't have a bulletproof vest were throwing themselves apparently in front of students. Um, SSRIs. Do we talk about SSRIs? Okay, so let's talk about that first. Uh, oh, wait. Before we even go there, whose district is this? Is this Debbie Wasserman Schultz district? Is the Boward County Sheriff? Uh, and they're going to try and call these guys cowards? No, they let this happen. They let this happen. Right? They knew this kid was crazy. 39 calls in, in seven years. Three tips to the FBI, and how come none of these fucking little thespian kids who had FBI fathers could tell their fathers that this kid was insane, and that he was a threat, and they put, I mean, they have paperwork, he put guns to people's heads, still pass the FBI background check. Really, you fucking idiot people? Okay, so now let's talk about SSRIs. Uh, 4% of those on SSRIs uh, experience suicidal thoughts and actually uh, attempt to commit suicide. And of that, uh, some of them uh, have uh, rage and other issues and attempt to kill others. But I mean, 4% by their own numbers act out and try to actually kill themselves. And how many of those uh, have uh, feelings of rage? And uh, how many drugs out there have this side effect that says may cause suicidal thoughts? We need to take a look at that. Um, when it comes to the psychotropics and the uh, SSRIs and so forth, there's like 8 million kids. Do 4% on that. Stop drugging our little boys. You fools, stop drugging our little boys. Now, uh, the average child can play video games and listen to music and not be affected and shoot up a school. Uh, a damaged child who uh, is in that 4% and perhaps experiencing side effects from the pharmaceuticals that he's on may then be easily programmed on purpose or by accident by uh, violent video games, uh, violent music, and violent movies, and then may actually act it out in the real world with a readily, readily available firearm. Uh, you and I can go watch a horror movie or a violent movie, uh, listen to metal, and uh, not go shoot a school up, because we're not crazy and we're not on SSRIs, and we're not suffering from the side effects. And you guys can't fucking figure out that because pharmaceutical companies uh, lobby your government and uh, sponsor most of your TV and magazines and everything you see and hear, sponsored by pharmaceutical companies, and they don't want to threaten the bottom line of these pharmaceutical companies that fucking are allowed to give drugs to children. And then when these children's minds snap, take no responsibility, and they blame the gun. And now we have child actors and uh, one very sick 18-year-old child in Florida is going to try and dictate gun policy to the other 300 million of us. Are you people out of your... Yes, obviously you're out of your fucking minds. And none of the Republicans can stand up to this. And Trump's going along with, yeah, I think I'll buy bump stocks and I'm you know, going to go for raising the age that you can buy a gun... To 21. I seem to remember being able to walk out of Woolworths with a handful of ammunition and a rifle over my shoulder at uh, 16 years old. My other friend Tom told me this story also. Right? Our society is fucked now because, like uh, this one guy was saying, I'll try and find the link, uh, we used to be able to bring our guns to school. In fact, around Christmas or birthdays and holidays and so forth, uh, you might bring your new shotgun to show your friends. Or your new Ruger or your new whatever the hell it was. I remember examining a Ruger in school. And wow! Right? As compared to a 38 or as compared to a 45. Right? You weren't bringing them in the classroom. You weren't hiding them in your lockers. And you certainly wouldn't go fucking shoot your friends up. Wouldn't cross your mind. 
Now we've got these children. Apparently, it crosses their mind. And what happened to that little kid? What happened to that 18-year-old kid that he went back and shot the school up if he actually did it? Looks to me like, just like with JFK, Parkland. Hmm. Parkland. What was the name of the hospital they took? Park, uh, Parkland. What is the name of the hospital they took JFK to? And then it turns out uh, there might have been a gun in the one of Trump's motorcades that was unauthorized. According to Jerome Corsi, there's a story I heard. They were going to try and shoot Trump. This was the precursor. February 14th, 17th, dead, Mount Valentine's Day massacre. Oh my God, Nicholas Cruz. That's the... Uh, We'll call them Masons. We'll call them the Kazarian Mafia. They're, they are not Illuminati. They're just a fucking murderous syndicate. But that's them doing this to you. Right there. That's what they're doing. Right? And, that, and then that's what they're doing to Trump also. Don't even fucking kid me. You people are ridiculous. And then uh, you see the... Uh, I mean, there is... There, we've got a war going on right now. And, and honest to God... Uh, hot war between factions in our government. And what you're getting is about 5% of it in the mainstream media. But the fact that you guys can't put together one and one and one and come up with anything more than, you know, two. Uh, no, we've got uh, Debbie Washington Schultz District. Uh, we've got a mainstream media that's uh, paid off by pharmaceutical companies and a government too. We got kids on SSRIs for years and years and years. Side effects known to be suicidal thoughts. Uh, we have an FBI that was under duress because they were being absolutely decimated uh, by Congress when it came to them being dirty Democrats that had, uh, you know, trumped up a dossier. <laughs> See what I did there? And uh, got a FISA warrant. And don't fucking tell me those judges weren't dirty. Okay, so then uh, they're getting there at treason. There's people calling for them being charged with treason, and boom, we've got a f shooting in Florida. Now, what happened? When, w I mean, just every fucking time. Every time the Democrats are getting their asses handed to them. I mean, we've got multiple things going on here. Don't want to talk about the SSRIs. Easy to ban the guns and make it seem like they did something. Right? You want to talk about regulation? How about regulation for automobiles? Yes, there's all kinds of regulation for automobiles. We have stringent, you know, right? I'm all for stringent background checks. Let's have stringent background checks for these fucking aliens coming in. And let's have stringent background checks for voters. Since we're doing stringent background checks. Let's just do stringent background checks. For whatever the fuck it is. You guys want to play this game? Fine. Let's play. These fuckers are sacrificing children to push forward their agenda. There needs to be arrests in this country. So fucking many witches, so few fires. And you people just stand for it. Right? You know what's going on. I mean, that kid was just a little too... And then it turns out they're all in the drama club. Every goddamn one of them on TV is in the drama club. These aren't crisis actors. Let's not call them crisis actors. Let's call them students who aspire to be TV anchors on CNN. Let's call these uh, kids, uh, well, two of them anyway, two of them had fucking parents in the FBI. A father in the FBI. Couldn't tell his father. I mean, can get on TV and talk all about gun control and be all, it was wax eloquent, but couldn't tell his fucking father that there was a crazy guy at his school that everybody knew about. Neither could the other kid. Two of them. Four fucking sheriffs in front of the school didn't go in. These people are sick. And if you can't figure this out, you're too fucking stupid for words. You can't see what's going on here. Distraction. They will murder their own. They don't give a f I mean, you think they'll only do this in the Middle East? Right? You think they'll only bomb children in the Middle East? One drone, every time we do a drone strike, that's like, what, 24 to 27 innocents for every bad guy by their own fucking reckoning. How many drone strikes under Obama? How many drone strikes so far under Trump? 
but we shoot 17 kids up and we allow this so clear this was allowed to happen. They knew about this kid. Knew about him for years. Three tips to the FBI. Uh, not coming from any one of these fucking little thespian kids, though. Right? 20, trip, 20 tips to the sheriff's office. Calls to his house on either him or his brother 39 times in seven years. Brother is an insane asylum. Kids on SSRIs. Bragging about how he's going to take out lots of people. And you don't hear about this because... Uh, and you can't figure out that it's because pharmaceutical companies lobby your government and do most of the advertising in every fucking magazine and certainly on TV. And the side effects for the drugs that they're advertising, if you listen carefully, often say may cause suicidal thoughts, anxiety or depression, or feelings of rage. Now, once you're in that state of mind... Now you probably can be programmed by video games or movies or music inadvertently because you're, by definition, not in your right mind. That same, uh, those same video games, movies, and music wouldn't affect a quote-unquote normal person who isn't under the effect of SSRIs. This shit ain't hard, kids. Four of them outside the building wouldn't go in. But blame the NRA. Just pathetic. You can't write this shit. Anyway, I'll put links below. Educate self. Educate others. E pluribus unum. Take it easy, cram stuffers.